past. It's a time when the sensible botanist stays indoors, dreaming of summertime. But on the fringes of the watercourses, there are some treasures to be found. The springs that feed these streams rise at a constant 10 degrees Celsius. And one plant in particular is easier to find at this time of year than at any other time. This is Catabrosa aquatica. It's a declining aquatic grass with a patchy UK distribution. Here in the dead of winter, it really stands out from the rest of the foliage because uh, it's just this gorgeous bright green. Its stoloniferous roots at the nodes have formed straggling beard-like rafts. It has lovely red stems just above the nodes, right here. But not always. Sometimes you'll find a whole population that's just green. Uh, and the young leaves are folded rather than rolled. The tip is either hooded like the prow of a boat or notched, and the young leaves are often wrinkled. Where they join the stem, you'll find a ligule which is wider than it is long. This is sweetgrass, Glyceria fluitans, which can look all floppy and verdant like whirlgrass, but usually holds itself fairly rigidly in the water, on account of its strongly ribbed leaf structure, with massive longitudinal air spaces like a tiny lilo. A leaf of whirlgrass is solid, with little papillose bumps that help to trap a film of air on its surface when submerged. So I have a hunch that world grass is easier to find in the winter. By summer it seems to either have been outcompeted or munched to oblivion, and it's not nearly so conspicuous. If I'm right, there's a chance that it's under-recorded in the upper Itchen Valley. Three new tetrads for it suggest I could be onto something. As a botanist, I want to know more about world grass. I want to know more about its ecology. Does it spread mainly vegetatively? I rarely see it in flower. Why is that? Is its sweet and palatable nature key to its success? Can it cope with the pace of agricultural intensification in the Itchen Valley? And if so, can we learn lessons here about how to halt its decline elsewhere? You could say, my mind's in a whirl.